Good afternoon. I'm glad to be with you again. My name is Mr. Highland. I want to go over with you one of my another one of my favorite stories about Jesus, but this is a story about Jesus and many people. And at the end of this, I am going to have a question for you and for your family to discuss. This story starts about being about a man who couldn't walk. And he knew that if he could get to Jesus, that Jesus could heal him so that he'd be able to walk again. He heard that Jesus was going to be in his neighborhood, but he, of course, he couldn't walk. Fortunately, he had some friends, and these friends agreed to carry him to where Jesus was talking and meeting with people. It would be like if somebody took the blanket off your bed, folded it in half, and you and three friends carried this man who couldn't walk to the house where Jesus was meeting with people. They got to the house, and they got there later than they wanted to. The house was absolutely packed with people. Now, this house may have been about the size of the room you're in, or maybe just a little bit bigger. Not a very big place. It was absolutely packed with people. People who wanted to see and to hear this man, Jesus, from Nazareth. Well, by the time that the four friends with the man on the blanket who couldn't walk got there, that they couldn't get in because it was so packed with people. So the friends said, hey, let's get up on the roof. And they got up on the roof. And while they were up on the roof, they started knocking a hole. <laughs> knocking a hole in that roof. Now, what this did was to cause dirt and dust. You see... The roofs were made of dirt. That's what those houses were. They were made of dirt. So all the people who were down below listening to what Jesus had to say would look up. And they'd get this dust in their hair and they'd get it in their eyes. And finally, there was a hole in the roof. And not only was there a hole, but it was a hole big enough that when those four men laid down on the roof, they could lower the blanket with the man on it down right in front of Jesus. Well, Jesus knew. This man wanted to be healed. Jesus knew that this man had faith in Jesus' ability to heal him. He also knew that the friends had faith and that the friends had enough determination that they would carry this man there and then knock a hole in the roof so that they could lower the man down to right in front of Jesus. So Jesus healed the man. And a man was able to get up and walk away. This story is not just a story about a man who was able to be healed by Jesus. It's not just a story about Jesus. What a wonderful thing that Jesus did was to heal that man who couldn't walk. It's a story also about, about those friends who carried the man to that house so that he could get in to be healed by Jesus. And then when they got there, they found that they couldn't do it, but they thought about what to do. They knew they wanted to accomplish something, to get something done. So they took this man up on the roof and then they used their efforts to knock that hole in the roof through the ceiling of the house below so that they could then lower that man to be in front of Jesus. It's a story also about those people who were there. They came because they wanted to hear Jesus and to see Jesus and they witnessed Jesus doing this miracle. What a wonderful thing it was to be one of those people. It was also wonderful to be one of the owners of that house. Think about it. You get Jesus there in your house. And then you're probably at first a little bit upset about somebody knocking a hole in your roof through your ceiling. But then you see what Jesus does, and you see those friends, and you say, this is my house where that happened. And you're one of those people standing around saying, oh, gee, what a great thing this is for your house. Maybe you're one of those people 
who afterward looked up, saw that there was a hole in the ceiling, in the roof. And so you go to the owners of the house and you say, I want to help you fix that hole. Those people cared so much about that man who had so much faith in Jesus who came to visit at your house. I want to help you fix that hole. Who do you think you'd like to be in this story? Do you think you'd like to be Jesus? That'd be pretty neat. Do you think you'd like to be the man who was healed? You couldn't walk all your life. And yet this man, Jesus, heals you so that you can get up and walk away. Maybe you'd like to be one of the friends who carried this man who couldn't walk there. You got this man in front of Jesus. And then your friend was able to walk away. That was really wonderful, too. Maybe you're one of those people, think about this, who saw all this, who at first was upset because you were getting dirt and dust in your hair and in your eyes. And then you see somebody lowered through a hole in the roof, and then you see Jesus heal this man. Maybe you'd like to be one of those people who went up to the owners of the house and said, I want to help you fix this hole. And you did. You saw what Jesus did. You saw what the friends did. You saw how the man felt. And you wanted to be part of it, so you helped fix the hole. Think about which one of those people you'd like to be. And then talk about it with somebody in your family. You could compare who wants to be Jesus and why. Who wants to be the owners? Who wants to be the man who was lowered? This is for you to think about and it's for your family to talk about. So, I hope that you and your family have a good day and I hope that thinking about Jesus and about this man and about all those other people can help you think about yourself and what you can do to be as Jesus would have us do in our world. Amen.